Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to export camera track from 3D Equalizer to Maya. So in our previous class, I have tracked this shot inside 3D Equalizer. So now just I am going to export this camera track from 3D Equalizer to Maya. So before starting this class, please watch my previous class video. Link I have given in description. So for exporting, just we have to click on 3D4, then export project, then Maya. Then export file and just select your folder or directory where you want to save this file. So in same folder just I am going to save. Then downside just simply give a file name. Then after this we have to click on OK. Then after this, this is starting frame. So this frame should match with your image sequence starting frame. Okay. So just only for explanation just cancel this one here. So easily you can understand. So now suppose you want to check your image sequence starting frame. Then in this object browser just we have to select this sequence. Then right side you will get this your image sequence or footage starting frame which is one so same frame you have to type it here while you are going to export your camera track from 3d collager to maya so same thing just you have to type it here and remaining these options may be depend on your 3d collager software version so maybe if you are getting this one or not then after this we have to click on ok now project successfully exported now just open maya so now we are inside Maya here. So I am using Maya 2020 version here. Now for importing our tracking data inside Maya, just we have to click on file. Then click on import and just select your exported file. So this is our folder and this is our file which just type exported from 3D equalizer. So camera export underscore Maya. So while you will export camera track from 3D equalizer, so this will just create a .mel file here. So simply just we have to select and just we have to click on import. So now here if you will see, so this is our camera and these are our locators here. Then after this just simply we have to click on the panels. Then in this perspective just we have to select this camera view here. So now we are inside Maya camera view here. So simply just we can play and check. Then after this just we have to open our outliner here. So just we have to click on this windows. Then outliner. So inside this outliner we will get this main scene here then inside this this is our camera which is animated here you can see just keyframes here and these are our locators and if you want to change the size of these locators so you have to select individual locators so maybe just simply select first one hold shift and just select last one then inside this layer editor simply just you can adjust these locator size so maybe just point three this is just only for explanations here so now you can see here. So like this, if you want, you can resize your locators inside Maya. First here, just save as our project here. Now we have to click on File, Save Scene Edge, and select your folder again. So in same folder, just I am going to save. Now the downside, just we have to give a name. So Maya Scene. So any name just you can give. And in this file type, we have to select this Maya ASC double I. Now we have to click on Save Edge. So now after the just I am going to orient our scene here. So for this first we have to switch this single viewer into our two views here. So just simply in left side just we can click here. And first view just define as a camera view. Then lock this camera. Even just you can select this camera and just lock all these parameters here. Then second view this is your perspective view here. Now just we have to find one point on over this ground here. So maybe this point here. So this point is on top of this ground here. So after this what we have to do? So just in left side just we have to select this scene. Now press W. And this scene anchor point or pivot point just we have to snap at this point here. So for this we have to press D and V and just snap it here. Then entire scene we have to place on top of this grid here. Now press X and just we can snap it here. Okay properly. Then after this just I am going to take a plane, scale it here, even if you want you can a little bit reduce some subdivisions here. Then in this camera view just simply press 4. Now we are inside of this wireframe mode here. 
even if not, you can also hide this grid. So easily, just we can see over this plane. So now, just after this, just we have to orient our scene. So just we have to select this scene, and just we have to adjust all these rotations value, and just we have to orient our scene here. So remember this one. You have to adjust these scene rotation value. Do not rotate your plane. Otherwise, maybe this will just give you wrong orientation here. So just we have to rotate your scene. First, just I have selected this scene. And yes, I am going to add this Y rotations here. So press E on the little bit just adjust. So just we have to adjust all the rotations when and just properly just you have to try to orient your scene. After this, what we can do? So again, just select this pen, press W, D, and V, and just snap this anchor point at this point here. And a little bit simply just we can move this plane. You can move your plane, even you can scale, but do not rotate your plane because this is just a reference plane. Or just simply you can move. Then just we can scale this plane. Now in our this camera view here, so if you want to use pan and zoom, so first just simply you can click here or press back space key so now we have enabled simple this 2d parent zoom then hold back space key and with the right mouse button simply just you can zoom this camera view here now again hold back space and middle mouse button so simply just we can pan so just we have to try to match this line so for a little bit adjust this plane size so again just we can select maybe this is ground line so just you can see so this line just we have to match so now again just we have to adjust with all these rotations value again so just select this scene now just again let us rotate your scene so maybe even if not you can also use these four view here and just you can adjust So now here just I have oriented over this scene. So first here just save as our project here, then click on File, Save Scene as. Now click on Save as. So now after this just I am going to adjust scene scale for this sort here. So for this we need a 6 bit character. So in this right top corner just simply we have to click here. Then in this character just we have to select None. Then downside we have to click on Import Human IK Examples. So this will just create a speed character with rig here. So inside this outliner you will get this dummy. So this is main group and this is rig for this character. Okay. So if want you can just simply delete this rig. Then after this we have to adjust scene scale. So we have to find some reference. So according to maybe this character. So just I am going to adjust scene scale. So according to this character I have adjust this scene scale here. So just we have to find this point near to this character here so maybe just we have to check so this is too small scene here so this is our actually mean you can see this this point here so first what we can do for this scene scale so again we have to click on this layer editor then just we have to select this main scene and just press R and just scale it here So now if you will see here this is also actually scaling this plane because just before this you have oriented your scene according to this plane here. So what we can do for this plane? So if you want you can just simply select this plane and just you can delete and later you can create another plane for this ground here. Or before scaling what we can do? You can just simply place this plane into this scene group here. So this will maintain this plane positions here or scaling all these things here. So what we can do again, so here I have selected this scene and just again type it here 1 default value. Now you can see your plane, simply you can place into this scene group here like this. Now if you will adjust this scene scale, so this will maintain, so this will just maintain all these things here. So you can see here, okay, so according to this scene scale, this is also just adjusting this plane here. So you can see, okay, so whatever you like, just simply you can do. So now again just simply select this one and just delete. 
so later we will create another plane for this ground here and just we have to focus on our this scene scale so again just we have to select this scene and roughly just i'm going to type it as value will be 10 so just i was just this scene scale so remember this one so just you have to adjust this scene scale or size for this scene not for this character okay so again just i've selected this scene so just again we have to place this character at where this character may be position so for just select this character and press w so you can move your character but do not move in y axis okay so you have to place your character on this ground so this is our actually reference point where is our character actually so just what we can do so if you want you can just select this character and simply you can move it so maybe here i play then after this what we have to do then we have to select this scene now we have to place this scene anchor point or pivot point at this character feet here or this down positions here so again press d and b and just snap it here now after this just we have to again we have to select this scene and just we have to adjust this scene scale value so if you want you can press r so you can see here or just simply you can type it here value so maybe 30 so you can see this scene scaling then again maybe 35 so let tell me just we have to adjust also character position so if you want you can then again select press w So maybe then again we have to select this scene and just we have to adjust this value. Now just select your character and just you can place maybe at the exact position. So now here just I have also adjusted our this scene scale. Now just I am going to create a plane again for this ground here. So again just we have to take this plane. And just we have to scale it here. So now just we have to use this pan and zoom. And just we have to check. So maybe let little bit just we have to scale. So again D and V and just we can place it here. So now the little bit we have to add this plane size. So again just we have to. So here I have already oriented scene, so this will automatically just placed in the scene orientation here. So just a little bit at this side also we have to check. So maybe this is actually so just a little bit this will go till here. So maybe here just type also created over this again this ground plane here. And now just we have to again select this plane and just maybe you can scale. just we can find over this point so maybe this one here so you can find this point so maybe this is just right place here okay so just we have to find some reference point so maybe this one here then remaining just you can adjust now after this just what i am going to do so just i am going to create this wall then this wall so again what we can do so just we have to select all these edges then select edge then control e extrude and just simply you can move so now you can see here so this line just matching here even if you want you can also just move it little bit to just we have to place it here now again press control e so again extrude and just, so just you have to according to footage just we have to create geo so maybe till here so same for this right wall also just i'm going to little bit store this wall here so again just we have to select this edge and just now again we have to press ctrl e store them or you will get this store options here correct then again press ctrl e So 
again we have to select this object mode here. So again, press back space and just simply the little bit here. We have to check all these things here. Now here just I have also just created this basic geometry for this scene here. So first here just save as our scene here. So click on file, save scene as. And just we have to give a name. So maybe three. Now we have to click on save as. So guys till here I have completed over this class. And remaining things just you can adjust according to your requirement here. Even you can take another plane and just simply you can create this back geo also inside Maya. In next class we will continue on same project and we will see cone render, wire render and checker render inside Maya. So guys if you like this video please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.